right, the first major cut that we're going to do is called a baton. A baton. Baton is three quarter inch by three quarter inch by two inches or two and a half inches. Baton aren't typically used. You can use it for like a roast, uh, like a roast potato, a roast vegetable, like a carrot. Uh, but typically we don't use a baton for anything like a garnish on a plate. It's too big. Uh, baton typically are turned around and used into a large. large dice which we can use for like boiled products or roasted things like that. Uh, anytime we do a large cut like this it's going to take a long time to cook so if you're doing a, let's say a quick saute you would never use a baton or a large dice to do that with. It would never get done in time. Okay. So the first thing we do again we got a rounded object we want to make sure that we make it safe so we're going to grip that really tight that potato really tight we're going to take and put the tip of our knife on the board and we're going to cut straight down, just push straight down with the knife. And what it's going to do is create a flat surface. Now, again, this is a product that we've paid for. We don't want to throw it away. We would keep this into our product bucket or our um, discard bucket, or our, yeah, our discard bucket, and keep it for mashed potatoes or maybe hash browns. We can shred it and use it for hash browns or potato soup. Multiple things that we can use this for. So, just as our onion, whenever we were cutting a, a medium dice or a small dice. We're going to basically make our measures first with a, a wide three-quarter inch. And first thing we want to do, though, is square the rest of the potato off. And if we don't have it completely square on the sides, we get it until we do have it square. So we get nice square sides. Again, these scraps can go into the bucket for square off the ends. And then we're going to want it three quarter inch wide. Remember, you've got a measuring device on your finger. One inch is to the tip, so that would be greater than half, so we've got it roughly three quarter inch wide. We're going to put one part of this over to the side. So right now we've got our first thickness. Basically we've got a big rectangle. We want to make a long rectangle. So on this we're going to lay it flat and we're going to cut again three quarter inch. So what I should see on the end is a nice square and it should be three quarter inch square by two and a half inches long. That would be a baton. The way that we use our cut cards, we can take their cut card and we can push it in and if it fits we know we've cut it correctly. If we were supposed to be doing a medium dice we didn't make the mark so we need to practice some more. Okay, So a nice baton. Okay? Now I will show you a little mistake that I made here. If you look on both sides we're not perfectly square on both sides. One end is a little bit longer than the other. Okay, So this is something you gotta watch when you're holding your knife. Keep it nice and square. Don't do it off of an angle because an angle because that's what happened here. Also the little edge that we've got here it's not squared off so we didn't square the potato out very well whenever we started. So these are some things that you want to watch for uh, for competitions to make sure that you're getting an end product like it's expected. The other thing is in industry the same thing if your chef looked at you and he said I want you to baton uh, a bag of potatoes for me for tonight's service. He's going to expect, especially if you're getting good money for these plates, for it, uh, uh, locally here at uh, Chester's Steakhouse. Uh, rough uh, average price for a plate there is roughly about $35 a plate. I want my potatoes to be accurate and exact, or as close to exact as I can. So these knife skills, it's, again, it's something to practice. The more you practice, the better you get at it. So baton. Now the beauty about any cuts that we do. I turn this into a large die simply by turning it sideways, squaring the end up, and doing a three-quarter inch dice. 
now we have a dice. So where I'm going with that is, you can get, if you're good at Julianne, Baton, Batonne, find Julianne, any of those things, all you gotta do is turn it sideways and you'll get the corresponding dice cut that goes along with it. So again, Baton, you get a large dice. 